Hey, my name is Dennis Leaflang, and I am in quarantine, as you should be. I don't know. It doesn't really ma uh, mean too much to me, because I'm in my studio here by myself all day, every day, most of the time anyway. So um, I'm very blessed to still have some work, which kind of feels like it might dry up within the next week or two. But uh, for now, I'm working here every day, and I'm also trying to make it a point to... Uh, release some um, some videos for you guys. Um, so this this will actually be episode two of Dig My Rig, is what I have called this series, um, about uh, some of the gear that I'm using, some of my favorite gear, and also some of the gear that you guys uh, want to know about. So um, every day I'm recording uh, sessions, pretty much every day, and then after that I will uh, try to do some videos uh, they may not all be released in chronological order. Um, some videos might have actually been recorded a few weeks before. Uh, sometimes uh, performance videos I can't actually upload until I get the okay from the artist uh, if I want to actually include their music too. But anyway, for now, we're going to look at some more gear. Um, I'm about to post another video in which I'm using this ride symbol and I released a video, I uploaded the video a couple days ago with the same symbol in it as well and people have been asking me what that is because they can't really tell so I'm going to show you what this is this is a Peisty oh. trying to get the whole thing in there Oh, focus. Anyway, oh boy, let's focus. Here we go. Um, this is a Peisty Signature Reflector, 22 inch. I'm gonna look at my. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at my settings because this camera just won't focus when I want it to. But anyway, 22 inch prototype ride. Ride a. Um, it doesn't actually say reflector underneath here, which it will with the production models, but it is a, uh, a signature reflector, um, which is all not all that special, but this is what gives away the specialness of this symbol. So this is an actual ride symbol, custom ride symbol made for Nico McBrain of Iron Maiden in 2003. The serial number says 2003, so this was before uh, Nico's actual um, signature ride symbol, the Power Slave, that you can buy nowadays. Um, I found this by total luck and randomness on eBay. It was listed as a Peisty Symphonic symbol, which it isn't. Um, it was clearly being sold by someone who had no idea, <clears throat> and... Um, the seller was in Florida, which is where Nico lives, so I can only guess that Nico gave this away to someone who then proceeded to sell it on eBay. Um, just a little bit surprising that they didn't um, sell it as a Nico McBrain symbol, because I believe the buy it now price was 200 bucks, 250 maybe, somewhere in the $200 range, which was pretty shocking. So. Um, for some reason, I tipped off a student. I don't know why I didn't jump on it myself right away, but I tipped off a student who I knew was looking for a Power Slave ride symbol because um, I had one and he loved it. And so I tipped him off and he immediately grabbed it. And uh, then when he received it and I went over to his house for a lesson, um, I was pretty dumbfounded by you know, this thing being clearly the real deal. Um, we ended up trading um, this symbol and the uh, the power slave that I owned, which was brand new at the time, because um, he kind of, you know, wanted a pristine looking symbol and this guy has, you know, some blemishes on it and it doesn't look completely brand new. Um, so he, you know, he's not necessarily a big Nico fan, so he didn't really care too much about the fact that it was Nico's symbol. Um, so we ended up trading, 
which I was happy to do, and we were both very happy and still are with that trade. And um, there's actually a video that I did a long time ago, I'm thinking seven, eight years ago maybe, um, where I'm comparing this symbol to that production model power slave, and you can tell that they're very different. Or Well, I mean, you can tell they're different. How different is maybe not super obvious in that video, but um, this symbol is quite a bit lower in pitch drier and a little bit darker. It's by no means a dark symbol, but it's definitely a little bit darker than a production model. Um, definitely a little bit more reminiscent of the sound creation bell ride that Nico used in the early 80s, mid 80s. Um, so anyway, I, apart from the fact that it's a very special symbol because symbol because it was Nico's, I also prefer this one over the uh, the production model. It's just my, you know, personal opinion. Um, Although that power slave is still great, and I do really want to get another one um, because this is not a symbol I want to really take out to shows. I've done it a couple times, local shows, but um, I did use that power slave uh, a lot for sessions as well. Um, now, even though Nico is a, or Iron Maiden, I should say, is a heavy metal band, this is by no means a heavy metal symbol, um, which is quite surprising. The bell is definitely. It's a strong bell, you know, it's based off of the bell ride, which has a big, strong bell. But the rest of the symbol is kind of um, middle of the road, I would say. Not as far as, like, it sounds boring, but it's, it's a very versatile symbol. You could definitely use this for country or pop. I've used it on country and pop sessions. Um, it's by no means an anvil, like, you know, like the power ride that, he, that Nico used in the, in the 90s. Is a, I actually own one of those, a 22 inch. Um, that is a much heavier symbol that is much louder and, and definitely pretty obnoxious. That doesn't really work for, uh, for most music. Um, but this thing is really musical and, and kind of light, to be honest. So anyway, um, definitely used by Nico as well. If you know how Nico plays, there is the, uh, at about nine o'clock, there's that worn spot that he clearly played. I don't know if if it really translates with the shininess on the camera, but uh, and uh, the other thing too is that um, in around 2003, uh, the, there's a couple of pictures I'm able to find uh, online of Nico playing a symbol with these two stamps on it. Now. As far as, I'm a bit of a Nico geek, you know, if, if you know me really well, you know that I'm a huge fan. Um, the only other ride symbol that I'm able to find that he ever used that has the two solid letter Iron Maiden font Peisty logos, um, there's a power ride that he used in the late 90s and early 2000s, which is clearly a power ride because you can see all the dimples on the back. And then there's only one symbol that looks exactly like this that I'm able to find pictures of him using. So I'm assuming this is this symbol. It's got to be this symbol. Um, but either way, I will post a picture of that in your, on your screen right now. And then I think that's it. I think that's the symbol. But anyway, it sounds incredible. I'm not just happy with it because I'm a Nico fan. It really sounds incredible too. So let me play it for you. It's a little floppy because I took the <laughs> wing knot off. So there we go. Anyway, so the bell. Definitely a very strong bell. But the bow is really sort of modest. I can see if I can uh, make an attempt on this and see how it, how it goes again. That is not the right snare sound for it, but... Something 
sound like that. Digging deep for that one, but anyway. I mean, it's super musical. It really works well for country and pop, um, which I've used it for. Um, but uh, if you love this cymbal as much as I do, definitely go out and get a Power Slave because it's not super different. I mean, it's you put them side by side, they're different, but in a mix, um, they're you know in the same ballpark at least. And uh, you know, a lot of people assume that it's a really heavy you know, heavy metal symbol, but it really isn't that heavy. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's this guy. Um, like I said, I'm home, working, plenty of time. Um, there'll be more videos coming. Um, if there's, again, if there's anything that you have seen, any piece of gear that you've seen in any of my videos that you want me to talk about, let me know, and I will get on that uh, for sure. And other than that, more uh, session videos or little outtakes from sessions uh, coming up. And uh, wash your hands, stay inside, and make music, you know. Um, if you want to record music and you need drums, let me know. We'll figure something out. This is not about money for me. Um, I love making music. I love helping people out during these uh, weird times. So uh, let me know, and I'll talk to you very soon.